Welcome back to our series of insights on network transformation and 5G with Dan Rodriguez, who is Corporate Vice President and General Manager of the Network Platforms Group at Intel. Dan, thanks for joining us again. Thank you, Guy. Now, we've spoken previously uh, about the opportunities in the core network and in uh, wireless access, but let's focus on the edge network now. There's significant industry buzz around the opportunity of 5G, edge and AI all come together to create this like perfect storm. What's Intel's view on this? So you can think about the edge as really the placement of computes and the use of analytics much closer to the user. This is in order to be able to deliver the right quality of service for different applications, whether they require low latency, bandwidth, or higher level of security. We believe the edge will, will run across multiple different locations, whether it's at a comm service provider's central office, or at the access edge, or known as the radio access site, or perhaps on the customer premise. All in all, this is going to create many opportunities for many different comm service providers as well as enterprises. With our history of helping to really innovate in the cloud and the data center, now driving network transformation, we believe Intel is best suited to be able to support the industry's build out of edge compute. And what is Intel's strategy for the edge? What investments have you been making to support the ecosystem? So when we think about the edge, we're really making investments to support the three fundamental workloads in the edge that being network, media, and AI. And of course, we're investing in a wide variety of silicon platforms, including CPUs and acceleration technologies that really enable our customers to scale their solutions by price, power, and performance across a wide variety of locations and supporting a wide variety of use cases. But in addition to this, we know that silicon's not enough. We must continue to invest in a robust ecosystem, and we're doing this just in the same way we did with network transformation. But additionally, we're investing in new software that allow our customers to easily consume our silicon, scale across our wide breadth of silicon solutions, but also help them get to market very, very quickly. So for example, there's three open source software offerings. There's OpenVINO that delivers edge inferencing or visual analytics for the edge. We're investing in open visual cloud that really enables all sorts of visual cloud or MIDI media use case with reference code. And then finally, there's a new open source software called OpenNest, which provides developers the ability to tap into the underlying characteristics of the network without having to deal with the complexities of the network. All in all, we're pretty excited about the products we're offering, whether it's silicon or software, and our ability to help customers get to market and really realize the full potential of both the 5G and the edge. Well, it's great to hear that Intel's making so many uh, investments around the edge. Can, can you give us some examples? Yeah, so I think, I think one example that, that of a customer we partner with that really pulls together many elements of Intel's solution is our partnership with both China Unicom and Tencent. Essentially, China Unicom is utilizing both our silicon as well as OpenVINO as well as OpenS. They're utilizing our OpenS solution in combination with our mobile edge computing software so they can steer and route traffic really to the right network location so they can meet the underlying SLAs of a particular use case. They're utilizing OpenVINO to be able to support use cases such as facial recognition and different smart city uh, use cases. Then China Unicom's mobile edge computing stack is a multi-cloud environment. So they're not only able to deliver their own application and services on their, on their platform, they're also able to partner with cloud service providers such as Tencent to offer some of their services through the, their network edge locations. And the great thing here is that China Unicom has already deployed in three provinces at network edge locations in order to tap into the benefits of 5G and deliver all sorts of new low latency services. Great, well Dan, thanks very much indeed for joining us again. Thank you very much.